welcome back my beauty squad if you're new it's your girl jessica so guess what guess what i got today i have that other than my pr sorry not sorry jessica moment yeah we have a big old big old big old box look at this this is like the biggest priority box and being I just received my promotion through her. Ah, we'll be getting big ass boxes every month of PR. And I'm so stoked because this is my first one since my promotion. And I'm excited to show y'all what I all got. Like, I love Stephanie. If you do not know who she is, where have you been? First of all, like, come on out. She's killing it. She is a reseller. She's not a company. She is a reseller. She purchases makeup with her own money and puts them in amazing lots. She does not sell individual palettes or items like that. If there is a palette that you are interested in, for instance, something like this, she can get it for you. And she puts little cute little things around it, stuff that you want to try, stuff that you have tried, but brands that you didn't know about. Like, you work with her. You work aside along with her and let her know what you're good, like what you're looking for what you're willing to spend, what she's willing to invest because you have to keep mindful. If you get a $60 palette, that's $60 that's out of your box. You know what I mean? So granted, you can't go in and want a Jeffree Star box for 40 bucks. Unless you just want like two lippies. <laughs> you know, because this is stuff that she has purchased by herself. She does throw in a lot of extras. She does throw in a lot of surprises. So if you go and you spend $120, I promise you, you're not going to walk out disappointed. You're not going to be like, oh my God, I just got a palette and two lippies, which, which you would pay at a store majority of the time for a really nice palette and two good lippies. So keep that in mind. Make sure you check her out. I always have her link below, Busy Beauty IG. Hit her up over there on IG. If you do not have IG, let me know. Please, please, please let me know and we can figure out a way for you to message her. And because she does have an eBay store as well. She don't work too much out of that eBay, eBay store anymore. But we will figure out a way for you to contact her if you do not have Instagram. So just keep that in mind. Um, I am her assistant now and a co-director. So if you have any questions or whatever, if you don't feel comfortable asking her, you can ask me and I would ask her for you. I do not mind at all. I love having any reason and excuse to talk to Stephanie, which nine times out of ten, but I don't have to have one to talk to her. We talk weekly, sometimes daily. It depends on what's going on in our lives, but yeah. So make sure you stay tuned to see this epic ass box. Like, And if you're new and you're not subscribed already, what are you waiting for? It's free for you. It helps me out. You're still here listening to me. So, obviously, you might like me a little bit. Maybe a little. Maybe an itty bitty bit. So, give your girl a chance to subscribe and turn that bell on. I try not to disappoint anyone. Mind you, I'm not everybody's cup of tea. But I don't try to be either. So, what you see is what you get. It's not like this. It's more like this. But, hey, I'm real. So I love y'all and see y'all in the video. Hey, my beauty squad. How are y'all? And like I said in the beginning of this video, we have our PR unboxing from none other than my busy beauty. This is my first month that I have been promoted. So this is my larger box that I will be receiving from now on. And I am stoked. Stoked to show y'all what I'm getting this month. Like, I can't forget. Wait to play with all these goodies. From now on, now that I am her assistant, creator, director, all that good stuff for Busy Beauty, I will be getting a larger PR box to help compensate for the more that I am invested into the um, the business. I do have a little bit more on my plate, but I enjoy every moment of it, guys. Like, I couldn't work for anybody better. Like, honestly. Honestly, I am so freaking honored to be her assistant, to be her sister, to be family with her, to be in this business with her. So, like, let's quit rambling because I know y'all want to see this. Look how big this box is. Like, 
don't mind postal look how sad like it is oh, guys it's freaking massive i thought my other pr boxes were big but no i was trying to see how much this weighed it don't say because it's a flat rate but let's just say it's a big bitch like like she she thick <laughs> She feels like me. <laughs> this is what it looks like. The first thing I have pulled it out, it is not makeup related, but it is so freaking cute because me and my Stephanie, Busy Beauty, are coffee lovers. And we were talking about coffee because we have weekly meetings over the phone right now. And so we were talking about coffee because I at least drink anywhere from two to five cups a day at least at like at a given <laughs> saying so she sent me over some coffee and i'm excited she said this is like the best coffee ever so best believe if i love this i will have to be ordering some more because i would go through this like no time but i have a k cup and I have the little K-cup pods to put this in. So, excited to try that. I'll be trying that after this video. I just didn't want to break her open beforehand. I'm going to save the palettes, multiple, for last. This is the Elf Putty Primer Trio. Poreless Primer, Batting Primer, and Luminous Primer. Oh, hell to the yeah. I love their matting primer. I am literally almost out. So, I'm glad she sent me this. I think it is a close tube to the Tatcha skin canvas. It might not be as exact because I do love my, my, my Tatcha, but it is close. Now, these are itty bitty, but you get to try out all three of them. You know what I mean? So, just keep that in mind. I think it's good to see which one will fit you better. Like, if you haven't ever tried any of them and you're not sure, like, which one you might like, I think this is a good investment. So I'm excited to try that out. I want to try it out and see if they're like legit any different from just a regular putty primer. See if you actually get that within glow from the luminous or if the matting fire in one actually mattifies. So this is exciting to try. Then we have the Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration used to help dry, hydrate dry patchy skin, temporary relief, minor irritation, itching due to eczema and other conditions. This is awesome. I love having this at hand because I have a lot of dry spots. My oldest daughter has eczema, so she does use a lot of my stuff. It's for stuff like that. And um, my younger daughter, my Jazzy, most of y'all know, she she has a couple of dry spots. So it's always good to have some repair cream laying around, especially if you have drier skin or you have a family member that has dry skin. Now this is the Pretty Fresh Hydraulic Acid Setting Spray from ColourPop. Look how pretty. I love some color pop. I need more color pop in my life. I don't have a lot of color pop. So I'm excited to get that. Then we have the Marc Jacobs Amored Dazzling Gloss Lips 5 point. This is in 3070 Silver Surf. This is a really pretty shade. Look how pretty she is. Like, I'm just glancing at her. You would think she was an eye topper. This would be really pretty over like a dark lip. Oh yeah. To give it that sparkle. That would be really pretty. Like maybe with like uh even like maybe a black lip or a berry lip. It'd be really pretty. This is the Pacifica Rainbow Melon lip balm. Yes, come through Stephanie. I needed some more lip balm because Luna has eight on mine. Even my milk lip scrub, Luna ate. And that was my favorite, favorite, favorite lip scrub. She ate it. And then she ate my lip gloss, my lip balm. Thank you, Sophie. Oh, yeah. I will save this over here. I will put this over here because I want to show you it all together. This is a VZR Professional Makeup Base Eye Primer. I'm excited to try this out. 
Use promo code like a charm twenty to receive twenty percent off busy art. So if any of y'all want to buy busy art, try promo code like a charm L I K E A C H A R M twenty. Save you twenty percent off. Hopefully it still works. Yes, some deep conditioning, mascara. Silicone free. This is for your hair. This is a really good brand too. And my poor little hair. These all these that you get. I love receiving those. I have a new brand here to try out. She sent me quite a few of them. One, two, three, four. She sent me five eyeliners. We have it's Handy Eye. Let me show y'all because I don't butcher that. I'm excited to see how these work. So I have like a blue wood. They don't have names on them. A, like a lilac color, a purple, a berry color. See the purple? And then that one. And this is the silver because she doesn't love my silvers. Like I love purples and silvers. When it comes to lighters. I want to start doing like that little wig out and then come in here. I think it looks cute. Might not suit everybody, but it looks cute. Might not suit me either, because I have hooded eyes. How do you know I love sweet smells? Christmas cookie from Bath & Body Works. I absolutely adore Bath & Body Works. I've actually got to make another order soon, because I have almost out of my sprays. With five girls in a house, my sprays don't live long. They get, they get gaped. <laughs> Guys, like, it's real. It's real when you have a house full of girls. This is the Rose Babe 7 Piece Rose Gold Brush Collection from Morphe. Yay! But Stephanie knows I love my brushes. This is what the little brush set looks. I love these cups because I usually pop them together like that and just set them on my table and use them to hold my brushes in. Let's see what brushes we got. And uh, y'all please be mindful that in the next couple of days, a lot of our stuff behind me will be getting packed up. We are moving, finally. Yes, thank God. But it is a process, guys. Like, it's a huge process. Especially when you have 12 people in your home. We already have the house. We have, we have the lights get cut on today. So, yay. We have it to the first of next month to get out right before the first. So, we're like countdown days. We do have a storage building. I am going to be putting most of all my makeup in storage for right this second. Just because the new house is getting remodeled. It has a couple of places that need to get fixed before we can like legit move, move in. And I just don't want to wait to the last minute and try to move everything over in a day or so. And kill us. Because we have two babies. So, it's like legit not possible. You know, just it's just physically not possible. If Mario works, and we're trying to prevent him having to take too many days off just to get moved. So, I'm going to pack up most of my items, all my clothes, the baby stuff, and we're going to set it all in the storage for right now. And then once we get over there, we'll gradually bring it back and do it, you know, the right way, the, the easy way. It's a little harder because it's double the work, of course. But, at the end of the day, it's... I think it'd be better for us. So these are the brushes. They are very pretty. They are very itty bitty. A normal brush. A little brush. So yeah, they're small. But what I like about having some small brushes, they feel nice. They're not the best, like the best quality by no means, but they're nice. This would be good to take powder off. What I'm more interested in is, it, they don't have no names on them. This is like a little smudger. Pack that product on there. This would be good to contour or apply the blush. A blending. This is technically like for foundation. To apply the foundation. You know, a lot of people apply it with this and then they go in with their kabuki and do it. 
this is like under the eye or in the corner where to put her the brow and then you have an angle one which i really like because it helps me get up in there with my crease and i'm just like because the way i like to do my eyeshadows i like it to be darker right here and then flare out excited i like these and they're cute because they're tiny and they're travel friendly so if i do get to go anywhere or you know especially right now in the middle of moving i could just you know get a little cup put a couple brushes in there and use what i could use be done be compact small and nice next we have robot is getting lopsided so bath and body works warm vanilla sugar Ooh. How pretty and I love like sweet smelling items like that. Stephanie, I love you. She gave me a backup of my sweet peach for Morphe. This is like absolutely my favorite spray. I have one over here and I have been so scared to run out because you can't tell whenever they're um these kinds of sprays. If you've ever smelled these, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, Morphe hit it out the park whenever they made these. So, I'm super excited for that. Always oh, nice to have a backup of your favorite wood. Always nice. Hold on, y'all. My charger want to be re re. God, I'd be so glad to move. It's aggravating, but on top of it, it's not that aggravating because I know it's for the best, first of all, because of what's going on. But I keep to rearrange and set up again and have all that fun again. It's work, but it's worth it. It's the the satisfying uh, satisfaction of rearranging stuff and looking organized. And like, I can't wait. This is a spray toner from Dr. Brandt. This is amazing to actually have one of these. And I've used like that much of it, like quite a bit, because I use it a lot, because I love the spray toner. I have a lot of texture right here and larger pores, and toner helps minimalize those, so a spray toner is good. So that would be put in my backups as well. Cause your girl's gonna use it. I know I'm gonna throw it like low. This is gorgeous. This is an eyeshadow topper. Well, Monte Chrome Shifting Liquid Eyeshadow from CFT London. I like to do a big swatch with these because they have like a dual chrome to them and they have shifts and you kind of get the bigger effect whenever you do. Y'all see that shift? It's like a little ball spot in it. Let me fix that. Sometimes you gotta pack it on. Okay, there we go. I think y'all could get a better look at it that way. Look at it. It's got like a green, uh, red, uh, gold. That is really pretty. Really pretty. Then we have the Tarte Miracle Mia Setting Spray. I was really wanting to get this in my box of charm and I didn't. So I'm glad she gifted it to me. Well, sent it to me. Um, almost to the palettes, guys. Almost. Told you, this box goes forever. We have the Crave Shop Glitter Sweet Illuminating Glitter Mask. I had this already. Um, I'll probably be keeping this for a backup. I think I have a little bit more left of my other one. But it really, it, this one does help. It doesn't peel off fast. It works pretty good though. Pacifica. Pacifica is a really good underrated brand. If you have not tried Pacifica, I recommend it. I did not know nothing about Pacifica until Busy Beauty, of course. But... It's really unrated brand. Like anything I've tried from that brand is it's been a go. 
This is After Sun Body Spray Coconut Vanilla. It has soothing aloe and it's a lovely scent. It's take probably smell it. But that's what she looks like. And this is really good because especially if you have kids and stuff and you have them outside for a little bit, you know, always use SPF. But after that, you want to take care of your skin as well. Okay. Y'all ready for this? It ain't the palette yet. But this is the Sky High brand new Maybelline Mascara that so many has rant and raved over. I will be doing a full review of this. I cannot wait. Super, super excited for that. Alright, so I don't know what palette to show y'all first. Oh, this goes over here with this. I haven't showed y'all this, but I have my refill. Let's show you this one first. Okay, so this is the See You Later palette from Violet Boss. It is the sister to my Flamingo. So these kind of go hand in hand. They're very cohesive together. This is made back in 18, 2018. This is made in 2021. So it's a newer version of this one. But they are very cohesive together. They are really great palettes to use together. If you don't know much about Violet Moss, Violet Moss is well known in doing um, sister palettes. They have a color scheme in one, and then they'll bounce off of that color scheme and kind of rejuvenate it and pick up colors that got, uh, go cohesive with the other one. And so this is the sister to the Flamingo. I got the Flamingo last month month and a half for a boxy pop-up i was super excited and i was wanting to get this so i'm really excited that she sent it my way and look how pretty okay look at that mirror see that pretty and then look at these shades i can't wait i love valley boss i love this valley boss valley boss is probably one of my favorite brands not my favorite brand but one of I don't think I could choose just one. Don't so yay. Now I have those little things. Now all I need to get is all the thousand other ones we have. <laughs> Continue in with Violet Moss. We have Tada. Oh, Y'all know I am a colorful biatch. Colorful. So she sent me color so bright is to die for look at this palette and one thing i can say i know like this is a door brand too this is a door palette yeah it's 2020 matter of fact but palette boss formula is superb guys like the color formula comes through so i'm really excited to play with this one and that one and this one right here that I'm about to pull up because this is a new brand to me. This was legit like a brand I really wanted to try for 2021. And so I get to try it. And that is Lime Crime. And this is the Greatest Hits Bangers. If I'm not mistaken, I do think this is a limited edition palette. It is available right now that I checked on the website. It's like 58 bucks. She's not cheap. But look at that. Like she is gorgeous. Those greens, that purple. Like this palette legit is gorgeous. So I'm really, really, really excited to try that. I love it that the thing goes all the way back like this. I have copper total in my head from where I worked my whole life. And holding like a palette like this really hurts me right here. So now that I can hold it like this, it's not as bad. Or either I usually have to set it down before my finger starts my finger start locking up. Because the last thing I want to do is drop a palette. Like you don't want to do that. I've done that. You don't want to do that. Which I already know in my new house, I'm getting a rug to go under my area. So just in case if I do drop something, at least it'll be on a rug. And then with that palette, she did send me over two Live Crime lip products. This is a lip gloss in the shade Her Lube. This is really gorgeous. Look at that. Like, their packaging is killer. And then you have Sarid. And this is a Makeup for Unicorns. Huh? So 
that's cute. It is cruelty free and vegan free. This is about lipstick. Look at the packaging first of all. And then look at that shade. Hello. I love a shimmery matte lipstick because they dry down matte, but they look gorgeous without the stickiness. And then this over like a really dark ombre effect. Okay, y'all. I think I thought I was done, but guess what? I'm not done. I got one more item, one more item to show y'all, and it's from Tarte. And guys, this is the freaking cutest. She knows I'm starting to get more into single shades, so she sent me over a Z palette. Look how cute. Like, can you, can, like, can you? Yeah, I would love to use this, like, just for legit highlighters. Love, trust, and fairy dust. <laughs> that is cute. Hey. Hey, Pooh Bear. How are you? Look how cute. So cute. Packaging. I am not to All right. So, that's that. That is my PR for this month. What do y'all think? Do you think she did good for me this month? Do y'all think I got quite a bit of products to try out? All right, I'm super excited to try all of these products out. I don't know if I can feel fast enough. <laughs> but your girl will try. And I'm gonna put all this back in the box because I really do try to incorporate majority of the products that she sent me for PR. They have my review video, my follow-up review video. So make sure if you are new, you are subscribed. It's, you are subscribed so you will get notified whenever I upload my next video. In the next couple of days, do bear with me. Do keep in mind that I am moving. I have nine kids to pack for. And yeah, like it's it's gonna be a process. I do plan on having some backup videos so I can throw out here and there if I'm like super busy doing something. But just be mindful, please. Um, I will be going live still Sunday. Don't worry about that. I still have to connect with y'all. Especially if I don't go live right now on Tuesdays. It's just straight premieres. Um I'm really excited to be able to get everything moved and up and just just uh I'm so grateful to have all of y'all along this journey with me and, you know, through this process, y'all make it so much funner and I can't wait to, you know, be able to reorganize uh, stuff and show y'all and get y'all's output on how I set up everything and how we get it set up over there because it's going to be exciting. Like, I can't wait, guys. Like, I can't wait. I'm so stoked. But I love y'all and I will see y'all in my next video. Be mindful, you will be seeing this shirt in a couple of videos because I do plan on doing like at least one or two more after this video. So sorry.